Good morning. As a low-carb diet coach, I would say 80 to 90 percent of my clients don't cook. Why? Uh, it ranges anywhere from too busy to cook, uh, I don't know how to cook, it's boring to cook, um, it's intimidating. So we are going to fix that, starting with the all-important meal of breakfast. You may have heard the old saying, eat breakfast like a king, lunch like a prince or princess, and dinner like a pauper. Well, that works if in fact old kings ate uh, bacon and eggs and steak and goat for breakfast. However, not so much if they favored potatoes and pastries. So I am going to take you through two very quick and easy ways to make a good breakfast that will set the stage for permanent fat loss. Let's start with the humble scrambled egg breakfast. First, get out all your ingredients. This is a really solid skill that you'll, that it just makes life a lot easier. It's also called, there's a fancy French name, they call it the mise en place, which my daughter loves that name. She calls it the mise. So here's our mise en place. I have three eggs. I'm making this for one person. I have a cup or maybe a handful of spinach leaves some dairy, butter, salt and pepper, and spice. With respect to dairy, the cottage cheese is more appropriate for low carb or slow carb. It's got a lot of protein in it and not as much fat. If you're doing keto, uh, sour cream, cream cheese, whipped cream, they all work for keto. Dairy does help make the, egg, the scrambled eggs uh, more fluffy and it helps keep you full longer in the day. Butter is for the pan. Spices, I use a smoked paprika. I keep it by my stove and I sprinkle it in everything. Spices can really help change up your breakfast or whatever you're making and turn it into Indian food or Mexican food or whatever you like. I prefer smoked paprika or something spicy, but it's up to you. Salt and pepper are the basics. Okay, let's get cooking. Okay, let's cook it up. First the eggs, well you need a, a whisk, this is a little uh, whisk that has a lot of spring to it. Crack the eggs on the side of the table, I used to crack them on the side of the bowl like this until I found out that if you do fresh eggs there's more likelihood that the shell will get in the uh, bowl and you don't want that. So crack them on the side, take your little whisk and whisk them up just to get everything all mixed together really nice. Put in the cottage cheese whisk that in, a little bit of smoked paprika for me, a little salt and pepper. Uh, Jamie Oliver and Gordon Ramsay, I can't remember which one, uh, believes you should put the salt and pepper in at the end if you care. Uh, go watch their video. Actually, Jamie Oliver's video on how to make scrambled eggs three ways is really interesting, so check it out. And then uh, the spinach, just kind of get that moist, it will melt down in the pan. All right, let's go over to the stove around the pan. Take your eggs that you've mixed up. If you've got a rubber spatula, get all of that good stuff out and into the pan. And then just cook it low and slow. You don't want to cook eggs fast. Just gently kind of turn and fold and whatever else you want to call it. And then the key is to take it off the heat when it gets to the consistency, right before the consistency that you like. The French like to call this snotty eggs. They like their eggs really that consistency, if you can picture it. I like mine soft, but maybe not snotty. <laughs> so this is about where I would stop the heat. So I turn off the heat. It will keep cooking a little bit longer in the pan. You can keep turning it if you want. But there you have it. Hey, beautiful scrambled eggs with a little cottage cheese for the fat and the protein and a little spinach for the magnesium. Okay, let's do the blueberry smoothie. This comes together in a snap. It's really quick you, as long as you have the ingredients handy. And that's the key. Have your ingredients um, or the meats if you want to call it that. All right, so I start with uh, in a blender. I put in the blueberries. Sometimes I use blackberries, sometimes cranberries, or a mix. Um, after the blueberries, I'll put in some spinach, a handful or a half cup, uh, protein powder, 
get a whey isolate protein powder. Coconut milk, a half cup of coconut milk. That was almond milk because my husband took the coconut milk this morning. Um, then I put in some ice. Ice is for the texture. It'll make it uh, much more smooth. It's a smoothie and some water. Okay, so I'm gonna go blend it up and I'll show you what this texture looks like. Blueberry smoothie on deck. This made enough for two small glasses. I usually have a great big glass. So that's all there is to it. And you can use any kind of berries you want. And here is a toast to the mise en place. Cheers. I love it. Now, uh, don't forget to subscribe. If you subscribe to my channel, I will be most grateful. Leave a comment. Um, and any kind of comments that get liked a lot or that I, I can do, I'm happy to, oh, I just saw a cat walk behind me. I'm happy to do videos on anything that you'd like, as long as it's low carb and about food, good food. All right, bye now.